Hello everyone, Shannon here for Honey Bee Stamps. In this video, we're gonna do some no-line coloring with the Way to Goat stamp set, and I'm also gonna share with you how to create this simple ink blended scene. We're gonna start by stamping some images from the Way to Goat stamp set. As you can see, this is a large set with a bunch of cute little critters. I did go ahead and die die cut three sections of grass here because the stamp is open-ended and by die cutting it first it just helps it helps me to understand where I need to stop my coloring. So I went ahead and arranged my stamps here on my MISTI making sure to line up those little grass pieces with their corresponding die cut and then I picked them up with my MISTI and inked them up in ink on three fade out ink and I did stamp them onto Bristol paper because this paper works really well for our no line coloring with Tombow dual brush pens. So I went ahead and moved over to my water media mat here and now I'm going to scribble some of my ink onto the mat with a only slightly damp brush. I'll pick up some of that ink and start painting my goat. I'm gonna start with the top of his head and the top of his neck and back. I'm gonna have this edge be darker which is why I'm starting there and once I get that kind of that top edge established then I'll clean my brush dilute some more of the ink and start coloring in the rest of the goat and this is basically my base layer so after I get this established then I'll go in and start adding some more details kind of enhancing the gradation adding shadows and just kind of fine-tuning this image so right now I'm going over and adding kind of going back over the lines of this goat so even though this is no line coloring I do like to actually color the lines I think it helps to kind of have the image pop a little bit more away from the background and here I'm going back in starting adding some darks kind of darkening those areas that I know I want to be darker like the back legs kind of little creases um, where the leg kind of meets the tummy I like to add a little shadow under the chin kind of separates the neck the head from the neck and now I'm ready to move on to the horn so I have a gray picked out and the color I'm using is on screen so you can follow along and I just went kind of really quickly and colored those horns and hoofs with that gray I'm going to use a black for the eye and then I will kind of fine-tune the nose here and then finish up with a little bit of pink for the inside of the ears and of course the udders and once I finish with this pink I will be done with this goat and I'll be ready to move on to my other goat now for this guy I chose to use a different color I wanted just some more interest and I'm using a gray here okay and it's pretty much the exact same procedure started with the top where it's gonna be dark then blended it out kind of creating my base coat and once I have that foundation down then again I'll go back in and darken some areas I'll also color in those lines again I like to I think those lines colored kind of makes that goat pop away from the background a little bit and again of course add in those details so I just finished up the rest of the goat off camera here I did use a different color for the horns which was 991 and now I'm going to move on to coloring the grass and the flowers I have two greens picked out for my grass I'm going to start with my lighter green which is 126 and just quickly color in the top of the grass with that then I'll move to my darker green which is 245 and color in the bottom I'm going to use these two greens for the leaves and the stems of the flowers as well start with my lighter green and then add in that darker darker green later it just kind of creates a nice gradation then I'll color the centers in with orange and then the flowers with yellow and I'll go ahead and color the other little sections of grass again off camera so I went ahead and die cut these images out with the matching dies and I also die cut out some craft foam counterparts I'm going to glue the colored image to the craft foam layer this is just going to add some dimension as you see here I want that goat to be on top of I want that little goat to be on top of the big one so I did have to trim off some of the layer some of the legs on the craft foam layer for this little goat that way I can get kind of I can rest those legs right on top of the larger goat like you see there so I went ahead and glued the flowers and grass to their craft foam counterpart parts as well now I'm ready to move on to our scene I'm going to create a very simple ink blended scene I'm going to start with twisted citron and just ink blend the bottom quarter of the front of an A2 top folding white card base. I'm going to create a very slight gradation have it a little bit darker with the twisted citron at the bottom. Then I'll move on to mowed lawn and just ink blend the very bottom part of that. This just creates a nice little gradation that really resembles how we colored our grass and our leaves and stems of the flowers. And now we're going to move on to this guy. So I have a very light blue picked out. This is tumbled glass. 
I'm going to hold my mini ink blending tool at an angle so only a small portion of the foam comes in contact with the paper and this is just going to kind of create almost like a little bit streaky kind of blend and we're going to really kind of create the illusion of fluffy white clouds in this blue sky so once i get kind of and i'm blending lightly i'm kind of keeping it just kind of figuring out where i want some of these blue patches of blue sky to be and once i get some of that color down and i like kind of how this is forming i'm going to go back in and add some darker bits to those blue sections kind of beef up the blue in little pockets of those lighter blue sections and you'll start to see here a kind of soft cloudy sky really starting to appear. I was really surprised with how well and how easy this worked to kind of create kind of more of a realistic sky just by ink blending with a little ink blending tool and just kind of holding it at an angle and building it up. So now that my scene, my scene is done, I'm going to stamp my sentiment real quick. I have I Goat Your Back, of course, which works perfect for a card. Just inked it up in Memento Tuxedo Black and stamped it. And now I'm ready to just kind of pull this card together. I'm going to start with my largest goat here, add some liquid glue to the back, and I'll stick her down right there in the center once I have her stuck. Then I'll move, move on to the little goat, put some liquid glue on the back side of that. Make sure to kind of overlap those legs onto the back so it looks like that little goat standing right on top of her. And then I'm going to adhere these flowers and grass just kind of finishing up this card. And I'll hold the card up to the camera so you can get a good look. I really love how this card turned out. These goats from the Way to Goat stamp set are so cute. I couldn't resist putting this little guy on top of the other. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of yoga with goats, but that's where I got this idea. And I love that background that we created. It's such a simple ink blended background, but it really works well for this card. And I can't wait to try that technique with the clouds on some other scenes as well. I hope you guys enjoy today's card and video. If you'd like any more information on the products I use, please head over to Honeybee. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.